Guys, that fish right there, the fish in front, right? I'm moving, the tail is moving, uh, from the heat, uh, it's not because this fish is still alive or something. Uh. Okay, good evening, people. Today, we are, I'm still in KL. One day after my Ramli challenge, I'm at Pavilion KL. This is the very atas mall here, okay? You see all the labels, branded, all the your luxury brand downstairs. And the restaurants here, right? You have to be good uh, to be able to, you know, survive the competition here. Okay, but anyways, we're invited today. I've been eating at this restaurant for the longest time. Whenever I eat Khao Yu, right, I go to this restaurant. And there's a little bit of a backstory for you guys. Let's head there and I'll talk a bit there. Today is one day after a massive, like, a huge challenge. Uh. So usually it's a more relaxed shoot. So today I'll be eating with the team and also yesterday I posted a story. We picked a few viewers to come and actually eat with us. It's not my KL viewers uh, because I really want to get to know them personally. My cousin know you. My Your cousin? cousin. Is the new pineapple tart. Oh, and Melody. Yeah, Melody. Uh, yeah, I remember her, I remember. Kifi. Kifi. Yeah, so, okay. so you're based here in KL? No, I'm on holiday. I'll visit Brunei soon. Now I'll get you guys to show me around. Yeah, Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for coming by. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the restaurant, okay? We're having our dinner at Tan Yu today. Okay, a bit of backstory for you guys. I go way back with Tan Yu, okay? Okay, I actually competed in China before. Some of my OG viewers will know. Uh, I came in second. Tan Yu is actually the main sponsor of that contest. They actually gave me a gold card. And with that gold card, right, I'm able to eat like at any Tan Yu outlet in China for free. For live or something. But I give that card to somebody else because I'm, I'm not always in China. Okay, but anyways, uh, we're here again. So let's go in. I've ordered about 10 kg worth of fish. Okay. Today is a Tuesday and this, this store is like packed. Let's get to know you guys. <laughs> okay, what is your name? Yu Liang. Yu Liang. Yeah. How are you? Is I'm not sure if I should ask. <laughs> I saw that he's got a wedding, he's got a, he's yeah, ma yeah. married already. Yeah, he's got married. 30 and he's got married and I'm um, still like, you know, married. Yeah. Clement. Clement. So Josh and you are? Heng Ming. Heng Ming. Yes. So you're also based here? Uh, based in Johor. La. Based in Johor? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for Study work as well? Yeah. That means you're very young. Zero, zero. Two zero zero zero. That's very very young. Eh? Oh my god! I feel so old right now. Most impressive is challenge or Oh, the pinging challenge. Why today all guys? Purposely, you guys always say I eat with girls, ma. So today all guys. Two years. Two years. Oh, during COVID time. Oh, during COVID period. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, you you mean very long because I seen your comments. I don't take care of me like that. Yeah. When I eat cow yu, right, I will always take tan yu. It's like you you want to eat sun cai yu, you go to Thai yu. If you want to eat, you eat, you eat honey. It's really like, you won't go wrong one. Exclude me ah, okay, exclude me. How many fish you guys think you guys can put down? We're not racing or challenging. We're just enjoying food today. You see the pot right there, it's damn big. Right? I see like three person sharing one, Yeah, uh, three right? person. I think that four person, like two pots will be good. Yeah, two, four person, two pots will be yeah. good. I think, yeah, two pots will be good of sides. I think that will be good. Okay, yeah. we let's aim for that, okay? Yes. We got like six or eight ah. Uh. Eight fishes, a lot of their grill stuff as well. Oh. So, you guys won't go home feeling hungry. Uh. You guys can probably skip stuff first. Uh. <laughs> guys, that fish right there, the fish in front, right? I'm moving, the tail is moving uh, from the heat. Uh. It's not because this fish is still alive or something. Uh. Okay. <laughs> no, no animal cruelty here. I'm just gonna start from my favorite first. I'll order this whenever I come to. Honey. How? I want to eat the whole thing. Usually for shoot, right? I don't get to eat this kind of hot food. Today is really boiling hot. So good. Okay, if you guys cannot handle spice so well, right, and you guys want to try this one, the spice is very subtle. Can handle. One. It's more of numbing than anything, uh, because they add a bunch of like peppercorns on it. This green peppers, right? This green chili, right? It doesn't add a lot of heat to it. It gives it more like refreshing sort of like taste to it. My appointment. 
myself eat. You have to watch because it's more pain. Okay, um, the, the other table where my viewers are at, they are all they all started to eat already. So they will eat first, later I'll go there and eat with them. Today is like inviting them for a meal. Their table initially is all like full of all these skewers. I used two fish and exchanged some skewers over some of the real items. Okay, we got oysters here, we got scallops uh, with the vermicelli inside. This one later, I let me eat some of the fish. Wow, this, this is like so good. Come here, right? Just order this. Are you? Control my rice, eh? If not, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be going through like 10 bowls of rice with all this fish. Previously, when I eat tan yu, I'll sweat a lot because I cannot handle spice. And because it's so good, right? It's so compelling, right? I just keep eating and I'll sweat. Torn between pain and pleasure, but today, right? I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll sweat that much because I can spice a lot already. Then take it, take it. So, uh, <laughs> later I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll eat this. I'll <laughs> definitely be eating that. One fish by one fish, okay? Without with one fish. Eh? Did you really eating quite fast? Okay, wait. I need to go over to to the viewers because I think they're too shy to eat. And I need to try some of their fishes also because the two flavors I've never ordered before. I, like, like, I saved some other fish from that flavor for you guys. Come and try. Okay, come, come, come. Let me try this one. Okay. Is it too spicy for you, this one? Oh, manageable. Okay, Still okay? Manageable, yeah. I think it's quite right. It's like, you eat the spice. It builds up on you, right? Yeah, Not that. Oh, okay, I think that's that. It's quite spicy. Uh, but, he's right, uh, this is the kind that the more you eat, right, it builds on you. This is definitely the mala one. The one at the back is Xiang La. These two flavors, right, I've never ordered any of this two, like this kind of fish. Thank you. I think the main thing about Xiang La and mala, right, Xiang La, the, the, the gravy, uh, the paste, it, it's more pasty. Okay, this is more liquidy, more oil. Uh. This one looks more like a sauce, like a paste. This one looks more deadly. Xiang La is definitely less numbing. A bit more flavor, less numbing. Both is equally spicy. Well, let me try some of the skewers as well. This one is what? This is tripe. Ah. Oh, you save one for me. Ah. All that spices on top is so shook. Very smoky. It's all about the, all about the spice on top of the skewers. Ah. For me, when I eat skewers, right? It's really all about the spice. They're super generous on the amount of like cumin, all the, all the kind of spice they put on top. What is this? This is eggplant, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, it's eggplant, uh, grilled eggplant, loaded with like a bunch of garlic, chili, green onions. So good. What is so good? Have you guys tried this one? Oh, they are very shy. Uh. They are all just look down at the rice and eat only, you know? Yeah. <laughs> don't shy, don't shy. I, later I bring you more fish. Just, just eat more, not enough, we order more. Okay, I almost forgot I got a table there. <laughs> Let me hold back to the table. Continue, okay? Mao Fan Li, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I finally have space to put my rice. Uh. Next one, we review this one, uh, okay? We try this one. This is quite interesting though. This is Suan Cai, okay? Suan Cai. Okay, come on, let me serve you guys first. Okay, this one is Suan Cai, and then there's a bunch of like pickled mustard greens on it. Okay, try first, uh, try first. Okay, from what I understand, they have two non-spicy options. This is one of it. And it's really no spice at all. You know, usually when you go to those like Chinese restaurants, they will tell you that it's no spice, but it's still spiked with a bit of chili. This one really is no spice at all. It's a bit of sour note. Garlicky, very garlicky. Just got the limbo fish, guys. I'm, I'm not sure about the other fish options, but you... Yeah, yeah, this, this, this one. Oh, then this one is considered a bit spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, guys. I, I messed up. <laughs> hey, spice lot. Because I spice lot already. I thought this one is a non-spicy option, but actually this is a little bit spicy. So if you cannot handle spice that well, right? as a starter, I think yeah, if you can handle a bit of spice, I think this is a very, very good option. Kind of different from the typical. It's not like swan type, you know. It's kind of different because they grill the fish. The sauce, right, is also more like a thicker kind of. It's more like a gravy kind. Of. Actually, I'm quite curious what's this like white thing on top. Initially, I thought it was ginger on top, but it's potato slice. I'm just gonna eat this. 
with the pickled mustard greens and then I'm gonna chase it with rice. So if you guys are, are like me, right, you take big bites, right? You guys just go for the limbo fish. Very little bones in there. And it's very, very meaty. Uh, okay, it's a lot of flesh. Uh, and it's not the kind of fish that is like maybe grouper, right? When it's when you eat one nugget of the grouper, right, it's, it's very it's very thick. But also at the same time it gets a bit dry. That's why it's not dry. I thought I wouldn't enjoy this one, but this one is so good. Will I? Guys, the main difference with this one, right, as compared to the typical, I know you guys are gonna compare this with Swan Chai Yu. I feel like it's two different things. This one, firstly, the broth is a bit more thicker, more of a gravy thing. Okay, another fish dump. Now I'm gonna try some of the skewers actually. This is a lamb, I think. This looks like lamb. 100% this is lamb. Lamb, right? Come on. Very gamey. In between the meat, there's like some fats in between the meat, like very chewy fats. And it's very pleasant. Then uh, the edges, right? They, they actually chart the edges a bit, so it's a bit like satay. Quite sure. Wow. This is good. Eh? This is the legit non spicy option. This is the Jiang Xiang one, which is the Sort of like a spin paste, but uh, it goes very well with rice. Just now I tasted a bit of the gravy. Really not spicy at all. Okay, usually with this kind of option, right, it looks very salty. But this one, it's not too salty, it's just nice. So good. Don't look at me, eh? you can help yourself. Eh? Okay, even though I mentioned many times that limbo fish got very little bones, right? But still, when you guys eating this, right, be careful, lah, okay? Don't be like me, eat like that. Okay? I'm trained before. Two more fishes down. I should go and check on my viewers, lah. Okay, see how they're doing. If they want more fish, lah. How are you guys doing? Wow, really good, man. Still can eat more fish, right? Yeah. Hey. Bring it on, man. Some of viewers all different. Okay, eat, right? You're sweating, right? Do you, do you usually sweat this much when you when you eat spicy food? I, I know it's easy, I can't sweat. <laughs> Which one you like more or both is equally good? I like this You like the one? Uh, same, man. I like the yeah, one. Like Any specific skewers that you really, really like? You are like having a bit of the, that sniffers. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, because of the chili. Yeah, but the frog leg, I kept one more skewer for you also if you want to try. Because <laughs> yeah, this is the frog leg. Oh, this is the frog leg. Oh, yeah, oh wow. Right. Frog leg, right? Tastes very similar to chicken thigh, but a little bit more tender. Some of my overseas viewers never tried frog legs before. Just tastes very similar to chicken thigh. In fact, the texture is a lot more silky. And this one is deep fried. Right? They deep fried the thing and they like coat it with all that different spice and all. Oh, it's so good. Oh, thanks for saving one for me. <laughs> I'll order 10 more for you in action. <laughs> They're really finishing them. They're really eating quite fast. How about you? Which is your favorite? That one also. That one also. People won't order that one that much. Usually you come here, you order the either the sour, the swan side sour crow one, the the green chili one. If not the the chongqing one, which I yet to review yet. Yeah. But that one is one of the one of my new favorites really. Yeah. Hey, how's the skewer? How's the how's it? You know, uh, the squid is super tender. Super I wasn't tender. expecting the squid to be this tender. Because it's so big, no? It's as good as those that I had at, at the Thai night market. Oh, really? They yeah, are very good, very good. I don't believe. <laughs> Show yourself. I always don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. <laughs> okay, you guys always ask me, after you've eaten so much of one thing, will you be afraid of it? Usually, no. But that time after the oyster omelette, right? A bit scared of oysters, really. So today, this one, the oyster, I'm gonna give it to Sean. Wait, we need to decide which one. I'll move over to the tables for my viewers first. Even Cal takes fries, we have to. No, they are very happy. They are very happy. That table can handle spice one. Oh, this is the legendary one. Okay, okay. Seven okay then KIV. Garlic, okay, this is the garlic. New improved garlic one. Upgraded garlic one. This one got a lot of heat, okay? But I'm gonna keep this here. 
，新疆你都有唔了。哎，我又 review 嚟搞啲 one fish， review 嚟搞啲 one fish。Can I have the honor to eat the brinjal？ 我又输啊 ！I'm speed eat this one。I'm pretty good at swallowing. Enjoy it so tasty. Okay, eat the fish now. Hey, this one, huh? Hey, this one, you need to review it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I know they don't take vegetables. I'm not sure it's deep fried or grilled because it's got a very nice crispy edge, very strong garlic flavor. The 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 brinjal itself is seasoned, right? It's not like they fry it and put it here. It's seasoned right? with the sauce and everything. The inside is super soft, like disintegrates, right? Okay, let's try. Okay, they add out, like a lot of crispy garlic on it, deep fried crispy garlic on it. The new. Improved version, upgraded version. <laughs> oh, this he looks very simple, you know. Like, oh, is it? Is, is it good? Great garlic, it's very sloppy, and soft. Crispy and soft. Okay, okay. If they put like the the garlic puree on it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't order this. But they deep fry the garlic, right? So it makes it more acceptable for a lot of people. People who don't. Fancy garlic at all. Wait, I, I take one bite. I haven't eaten the fish. I eat too much brinjal. Eh? The garlic taste is not that strong. Hey, this one you can eat without rice. Eh? It's not salty. Ma. It's not that salty. You can just eat this without rice. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, Tan Yu up their game already. Eh? Oh, not enough eh, the fish. I thought I ordered 10 kg worth of fish enough to feed the thing, but I underestimated how much we love Tan Yu. So this one is um, is a spicy. You can tell uh, there's a lot of dry chili on it. This is the grilled fish with seven ingredients on it. Okay, I'm not sure what what seven ingredients. I'm still trying to figure out what is this thing. You know, the best way to to understand or to figure out is just put in the mouth. Winter melon. This one suddenly after I eat the winter melon, I feel as if I'm eating like high tea lao. Ooh, that is. Oh, luncheon meat. Kelp. Hey, what is this? Uh? This is like a grilled fish with all your favorite hot pot ingredients on it. Feels like I'm eating hot pot. It feels like you're eating mala hot pot. And there's a very good quality fish in there. This is how it tastes like. This one very, very numbing. Uh. Very, very numbing. Very, very spicy. If I were to compare it to mala xiang guo's level, right? This is at least song to ta la. Thank you. Okay guys, I want to say this is the last like, uh, this is the last fish but it is not the last fish, we are ordering more but this one is one of my favourite, I had it before This is the Chongqing flavour, okay? Chongqing is known for their spicy spicy hot pot and all the spicy stuff They use this tofu, okay? This tofu will soak up all the broth one Very short one, okay? You must be able to handle spice, I'm not doing bother ordering this one And this tofu that they use is, is a different tofu. It tastes like a mix between cheese and tofu. Your, your are all in the oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna order one fish for the other table. Maybe one more fish here. But I'm gonna outro first, okay? Guys, we come to the end of this video. Very, very, very enjoyable uh, experience. I really do enjoy not just the fishes here. Okay, the fishes here is like phenomenal. But I also enjoy the little session that uh, that we spend with our viewers here in KL. I want to make it a point that if I travel to another country, or maybe even in Singapore, we want to create more of such sessions that I actually, uh, you know, get get to know you guys on a more personal level and get to, like, you know, have a meal with you guys. So when we're back in Singapore, yeah, we'll arrange more for sure, okay? We'll arrange one in February. One in March. Okay, but anyways, uh, we come to the end of this video. Very enjoyable mukbang. I wouldn't say it's like a challenge. This is more mukbang. I give you guys a pro tip, okay? If you guys are in KL, come here and eat this one. Why? Because it's cheaper than Singapore. Singapore one fish is 50 SGD. This one one fish is about 119 RM. Okay, so. What's the difference between the Singapore country and the 
no difference. Uh. Really the same, but, but today I get to experience more fishes. The quality is very consistent. Uh. So it's not like oh, one outlet good, the other outlet horrible. All the outlet is pretty consistent. I went to the Westgate one and Bongo one. Both is equally good. Okay, but anyways, uh, that's it, okay? We're not gonna make this video very long. I'm gonna, gonna get them to take me out. Okay, like I mentioned, I got three videos here in KL. The first one is the Remley, which is already done. You guys already uploaded. This one is the second one. I chose this over a burger challenge, so I hope you guys will enjoy this one. There's undefeated burger challenge here in KL, but we, we save it for the next time. Then tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing a food tour. Okay, we are, we're going to the top five to six. Must try, uh, must try KL street food. Stick around, more videos coming out, more food challenge coming out as well. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Eat more fish. <laughs>